Hey there, speculators. It is Roderick, lead futures trader, t3live.com slash futures on the VTF, where I trade futures every day for daily income. Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the volume profile and order flow histogram. Uh, we use it all the time in NinjaTrader. And I'm gonna show you how to add it to your charts on Tradeovate. And then I'm also gonna show you how to add it to your charts on Trading View. Now, depending on the platform that you're using, and I'm just gonna cover those two platforms that I mentioned, Tradeovate and TradingView. Uh, on Tradeovate, it is included. And on Trading View, you do have to have a pro account. And then in NinjaTrader, as those of you that are using NinjaTrader 8 know, you do have to have a lifetime license. So it kind of depends on whether you're gonna have access to this, but we'll go ahead and get started right now. Before I do, I'd like to remind everyone this video is for educational purposes. You can pause it right here to read more about the risk disclosures and disclaimers, specifically the ones that are associated with futures trading. Great, let's get going. All right, we are looking at Tradeovate. Tradeovate is a great online discount futures broker. I use it. Um, I have a variety of accounts, and right now I'm actually in the middle of a very fun thing. I'm doing a little $250 challenge uh, in this particular account. You can find out more about that later. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, here's how you add it. You go, I'm just going to make this chart full size, and you're going to come on over here to this little, tiny little pen, drawing tools. Uh, I have no idea why their <coughs> order flow volume profile, or the volume profile is over here and not under indicators. This is indicators over here. It's not under indicators. Makes no sense. That's why people can't find it. Come over here to trading tools and you're going to hit volume profile. Now, it is a little squirrely. It's weird. So you kind of, it'll kind of begin to draw it from wherever you put it. It doesn't pick a particular session. It'll then pick a session and let me show you what it does. So I'm going to go like that and start to... Uh, just shade the back area and boom, now I have that particular area right there. Now you might have seen some charts where it's over here on the right and it's showing this for the entire session. Here's how you would basically do that. You just click it again. Um, whoops, click the wrong thing. Click here. You're going to go to volume profile. And now this time what I'm going to do is just kind of start over here and go like this and then just kind of move it around until I capture most of this range down to here. Okay, sorry we had mayhem, we had dogs barking. Someone always comes to the door when I start to make a educational video for you and my audience. Anyhow, that's how you do it, pretty much. Okay, so now you can see it's over here on the left. The yellow is the point of control. You can double click on it and uh, and look at the, the settings here if you wanna mess around with some of the settings. It's not gonna give you nearly the same amount of uh, granularity and settings that you have over in NinjaTrader. Okay, so one more time. You click on this drawing tools over here. You go to volume profile and you kind of pick a spot on the chart and decide where you wanna put that profile based on the time frame. Uh, I will tend to only do this on 30 minute bars, uh, so it's closer to market profile if you wear. All right, now let's switch over to Tradeovate, excuse me, to Trading View. Okay, this is Trading View and I am not logged in. This, this is gonna be important because what you do to get the volume profile over here is you're gonna click on indicators. You're gonna to go to volume profile right here Here's the built-ins. You can you'll have access to all of these on a very free account. You can put moving averages, the exponential moving average, the RSI, some of the other um, indicators that are part of some of the stuff that I teach and train about. It's all available for free. However, if you want to put the volume profile on there, you do have to have a pro account. So I actually have a pro account. Let me see how I log in here. I think I just go back here and I'm going to sign in. And let me log in real quick. I'll go to a chart. Okay, I do not want to connect to Tradeovate. And now come back to indicators, which is right here. Go to volume profile, and you have a couple different versions that you can select. Fixed range, session volume, session volume HD, which is what I use, and then I, sometimes I'll use visual range. So you can read a little bit about each one. I don't think it actually describes them in any more detail, but that's it. You just need to have a pro account. If you want to understand more about how that works, just go to Trading View. Uh, just your friend is Google for everything. Pro pricing right here. Uh, that's probably the wrong link. That's Benzinga. Let's go here. There we go. Okay. So the pro is going to cost you right here, one hundred fifty-five dollars and forty cents. All right, 
You might check the link below in this video if it happens to be on YouTube or depending where you're watching this. Uh, T3 and myself do have some uh, affiliate links where you might be able to save a little bit of money uh, by signing up under that link. Check it out if there is a description on the page wherever you're watching this video. All right, that's about it. So that's the pro plan. That's what you need. So again, um, it's pretty simple. You just go to indicators and click on right here, indicators, and click on volume profile and apply the volume profile that you want. I already have one on here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Oh, doesn't work with VIX. Sorry. Let's go to the SPY. Actually, let's just look at it on the MES. There we go. All right. So you can see there's it's putting some nice little volume profiles on there. And it has a red line as the point of control, which I don't like. So you can go in uh, on trading view. If you ever want to change uh, elements of a uh, of any of the indicators, you just go to settings and you would come in here and here's all the settings. You can see if you don't like the POC to be red and instead you want it to be yellow, which is what I like, you can do that and hit OK. And now you got a yellow POC. We got the blue and gold, man. The Bruins color. Go Bruins. UCLA Bruins. All right, that's it for tonight. Again, how to add a volume profile on Trade of 8 and on Trading View. Hopefully, you found this helpful. Again, you have to have a pro, can, pro plan on Trading View, it's included in Trade of 8. Uh, and on Ninja Trader, you do have to have a lifetime license. I'd like to remind you always trade like you mean it. We'll see you at the next update or video. Thanks.